This is one of the tests to help officers decide if you might be drunk. Turn around and look at it. Oh my goodness gracious. Goggles that distort vision simulate what it's like to walk the line when you're over the limit. Oh. And what happens when you drink and drive. It was hard. It puts in the delayed reaction for you and over trying to overcorrect yourself whenever you're drunk driving. If that's how it is to drive drunk, I'm pretty sure it's impossible. That's the point the Injury Prevention Coalition wants to drive home to students. I think they don't realize what the consequences are when they're in that vehicle until they put those fatal vision goggles on and get in there and they actually wreck out or they crash with a police officer or crash in a head-on. I have a friend and she's paralyzed and brain dead because a drunk driver flipped her car over 35 times. Volunteers on Segways drove around campus to attract more students to the simulation. So we're really hoping that we get as many as last year, if not more than last year, and to come over here and pledge not to drink and drive. The Texas Department of Transportation says drinking and driving deaths are on the rise. In 2013, spring break related DUI alcohol deaths were actually up 23 percent versus 2012. So we're trying to tell them that, you know, we have other options besides getting behind that wheel. A sobering message delivered safely before they head out for spring break. Don't drink and drive. In Beaumont, Lauren Hewitt, Fox 4 News.